Black. Tomas and Luis, I want to talk a little bit about identity through fashion and what zoot suits meant to the people who wore them and what it meant to lose that fashion, what it meant to have your clothes ripped from your body and burned in the street. How did that identity, how was that identity connected to clothing and how did it emerge? What were the influences behind it? Tomas, do you want to start or Luis? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a, it's a complicated question in a way, right? I mean, uh, to just to put it in the time of the war, though, um, we have to realize that this is a time where things like fabric are being rationed off. Um, so a lot of people see uh, uh, something as ostentatious as a zoot suit with, with su such so much fabric going on as sort of, uh, you know, thumbing their nose at the war, right, and, 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 and patriotism. At the same time, for that youth, it's very much a suit uh, that's the mark of jazz culture, of, of, of a culture that they see themselves uh, being a part of in a way, um, sort of distinguishing themselves from, from an earlier generation of their parents. And this isn't just for Chicano youth and Chicano youth, but African-American youth, even white youth. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, in a way, their own uniform for, for their generational uh, uh, popular culture. Same question? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the whole <coughs> question of clothes is, is pretty essential, I think, in, and central to the human experience. Clothes make the man or the woman, for all that case. And, and certainly the Chicano experience goes way back, way back uh, when two world cultures met. And the New World and, and the discovery of America by Europeans and then the adjustment that happened. Uh, the Aztecs did not wear uh, suits, <laughs> you know. They, it was too hot. Uh, they, but then over the years they began to adopt a more Spanish looking thing. And so mariachis today, for instance, you know, dress like old Spanish rancheros, you know, that look with a broad hat. And, and so the dilemma for Chicanos was that they were no longer in Mexico adjusting or adapting to a, to a Hispanic reality. They were now in the United States. And in a city like Los Angeles, a burning, burgeoning, growing city, they needed an urban style that fit them. And so they went to the most natural place, which is African-American culture. African-Americans already resolved the issue by inventing the zoot suit on the East Coast to go along with the music, the big band sound, the Savoy Ballroom, I mean, everything in Harlem. Uh, and that style spread like wildfire across the country, came through El Paso, where we suspect it picked up the name El Pachuco, yeah. and landed in Los Angeles, where the young zoot suiters began to dress in a style that they felt was appropriate to come downtown on the Broadway. But of course, this was a racist, segregated society at the time. And so they condemned the zoot suit as an example of not just outrageousness, but but criminality. And it was so actually criminalized after the riots, right? Absolutely. <laughs> it was viewed as something that was anti-American because of the war and so forth. But in effect, I mean, uh, no one had the prescience to know that World War II was about to happen, not the young guys. They came out of the Depression wanting to express uh, a feeling of sumptuousness and urban sophistication. Mm -hmm. And so the zoot suit became their uniform, became their style. It wasn't dangerous, it was just very style. Anybody can look good in a zoot suit. You know, those drapes are tremendous. <laughs> And so, uh, unfortunately, it was ostracized and turned into a negative image, which led to the stripping of these young men in the public streets, in the streets of Los Angeles. And if you've ever been to high school, I mean, you see strippings yep. in the gym. It's a yeah. horrendous, humiliating experience for whoever gets stripped. This was even doubly so because it was in the streets. Nobody was killed in the L.A. Zoot Suit riots, but people were psychically damaged. Yeah. So that 38 years after the fact, when the Zoot Suit premiered here, there were people that were still bringing their scars and their damaged Definitely. souls because of what had happened. 